All right, so here's the new ride. This is the 2018 Chevy Impala LT. And before I get into this too much, I got to thank two different uh, people because it was really a combined effort to get the car between Kendrick Chevrolet and Smithville. They did the financing and put together the package to get the car. Hendrick Chevrolet and, and uh, Shawnee actually had the car. So it really was a cross between the two to actually get this done. But let's just check out this sweet new ride. Yes, I am back in a Chevrolet. I did not like the Ford Fusion. I missed my Camaro, and this is the closest cross between the two. And I will definitely show you guys why that is. But as you can see, it has this aggressive look in the front. It looks mean. It's got that big Chevy bow tie, which is the main thing on this car. But also, if you swing in here... And you look closely at the headlights, there's a bow tie on the headlights. These are, I don't know if they're LEG or if they're still halogen, but they're pretty bright. I got this thing home late last night, about 6.30, 7 o'clock. And um, the headlights actually shone bright. They have the LED daytime running lights on the car, which is really cool. The Fusion didn't have those, my Camaro did. So it's glad to have I'm glad to have daytime running lights back, as well as the fog lights for those extra foggy mornings to see the road. I'll get under the hood here in a few minutes. Um, I kind of want to do a walk around to the front here. Again, the mirror has the turn signal on the mirror. That's pretty standard. It's got the Impala badging down there. These are 18 inch. Wheels, I call them the fan blades because they look like giant fan blades. They had one that looked like a snowflake. I kind of like the fan blades better. So, it gave them that more razor sharp look. Walk around the outside to the back. Got the shark fin antenna. The Fusion has just the regular um, bug antenna. This actually has the black shark fin like the Camaro had. So, pretty similar in that regard. There's the Impala badging. Again, 18 inch wheels. The taillights, they're, they're okay. I mean, it's taillights. What can you expect? It's my dealer tag. The LT badging. This is the LT trim. Yes, it has the V6, which is the most important. But like I said, I'll get into that. Well, the bow tie and the V6 kind of combined. But... This is actually the metallic black coat. I looked at the Cajun red tint coat and it just didn't quite look as sharp on the car as the metallic black. The fuel gate, the fuel um, openings back on the right side on the Camaro was on the right, on the Fusion it was on the left. But there is the exterior for the most part. This is the key. Of course, for the first time, remote start, so I can start the car without actually climbing in it. Maybe if I can get to start. Okay, maybe not. Let's try this again. There it goes. So that's going to be good. I can let it warm up while I'm finishing getting ready for work. I did not get the heated seats in this thing. Um, it's just your pretty basic car. But it's got a lot in it. I'll go ahead and open the hood up and then we'll go into the interior. It's got these nice push button door locks right here. Just push it, unlocks the door. Go in here and pop the hood on this bad boy. There's the hood gauge right there. I've only had this about less than 12 hours. Well, less than 24 hours. And it's starting to sprinkle, of course. I get a new car and it always rains. But there is the power. 3.6 liter, 305 horsepower V6 variable valve train. This is the same engine that is on the 2012 Camaro. This one produces 305 horsepower. The Camaro produced 323. A lot of that is aerodynamic horsepower, so the 18 horsepower difference. Aerodynamics, mainly because the Camaro sits... Um, Sits lower to the ground, has that more sleek profile. It's a two-door sports car. This is a four-door sedan. But 
it's going to be great for safety and tech for safety and technology but also as you can see i get to go play when the kid's not in the car which will be fun let's go ahead and crawl into this thing this is the jet black interior still got the qt manner when they detailed it looks freshly clean door control is pretty standard so climb in here steering wheel cruise control um, this controls your center gauge. I'll show you that in a minute. There's that bow tie again. Parking brake, the trunk release, the dimming light for the dash. Nice little storage, storage compartment. I've got my work badge in there. So that'll be that. Another cool thing about this car, it's got push button start. So you no longer put the key in the ignition. Have the key in your pocket. That way I don't have to worry about locking my keys in the car. Start it up. Zach Brown's on the radio right now, but it's got this nice little, um, so I can show you, flip through some of the gauges, audio, haven't hooked up the phone or the navigation yet, options, info, it's basically your standard vehicle info, I'll turn the radio down. So 2662, I did get this slightly used, but it's better than nothing. I tried to get a 2019 brand new, couldn't do it, but I'm not going to complain about this car. But we'll flip through some of the gauges here. Tire pressure, temperature. I did miss the digital speedometer. The Fusion did not have that. The Camaro did. So it's going to be nice to have the digital speedometer. Again, push button start, hazard lights, dual climate control. So when Mary and I go on trips, or if she's in the car, if she's a little warm, she can adjust her temperature. Or, you know, if I'm cold, I can adjust mine separately. Or we can put them on sync and we can just sync the car together. Again, this is all your standard, you know, air vent controls. This is the MyLink radio. I haven't played around with this too much. I have a little bit. Like I said, I've just had this car a little under 24 hours. So I'm looking forward to playing around with the MyLink. I will do a special video on that. There are a couple of secrets on this car that I'm not going to quite give away just because I want to keep them a secret. But there's the rear view, OnStar, Call Assist, SOS. I guess you can hook your garage door opener. Up to, cause that'd be, that's going to be kind of cool. I'll have to figure out how to do that. Reading lights. Again, this is all pretty standard. Passenger seat. It's got a lot of room. And then this is the console. Don't have anything in there yet. Going to try to keep this one as clean as possible. It's got a little phone storage device. I can put my phone there. Or I've been putting it down here just so I'm not tempted to reach for it. Which I kind of like that. There's a little power outlet as well glove compartment. It's not really that big. There's no owner manual in there, which is quite surprising. Usually you find one. I guess it's all online now. Like I said, I've got to really um, play with this MyLink, but I'll do a separate video on that. Trash can control. This is where the heated seat controls would be. Like I said, I really didn't need them. I can remote start the car and my butt will be just warm enough by the time I get out. I'm going to turn this off for now. We're going to go in the back. I'm also going to pop the trunk. Let's see how... I haven't even opened the trunk yet, so I don't even know what's back there. Unlock the car. So this is the back seat. I already got Little Man's car seat in there. He was actually with me yesterday when I got the car. Quite a bit of leg room. I'm going to go around the other side. There's my window sticker. I have to pull that out. Let's check the trunk out real quick. Holy jeez, that is a lot. Oh, man. That is a lot more room than my Fusion had, so... That's going to be nice, especially since we had the larger stroller for Solomon. But, um... Yeah, that's going to be nice. My Camaro didn't have that big a trunk. The Fusion had an okay trunk. This is huge. There's the rear view camera on the car. I don't know. There it is, right there. I'll 
go ahead and show you that as soon as I get back in the car, but let's check out how much leg room is back here for Mary and Fredo, depending on who's riding back here with Solomon. It's, it's basic. I can even stretch my legs out when I'm 5'6", so yeah, they're going to have a lot of room. It's got the, uh, the vents here. There's a little power adapter down there. Cup holder, armrest. That's pretty cool. So, let's go back out here. I'll show you the rear view camera. And I'll try and play around with the MyLink a little bit. The only bad thing about this car so far is the radio doesn't show the songs. I really don't know how to fix that, but I can, I'll play around with it and figure it out. Anyways, there's that. There's a rear view camera. I've never had one of those before, so that's going to be cool to use. But I'm going to sit here and play around. So I've already got one station preset. I'm going to go ahead and preset this one for country. Let's see if it, there it took. Oh no, my Wi Fi came on. Yes, this car does come standard with a 4G Wi Fi through OnStar. I've got a free trial for a month. So, um, I'm definitely going to use the Wi-Fi. I may even keep the Wi-Fi just so we don't have to use our data if we go somewhere. There is the controls for the radio. And then this side has, you can flip through your presets as well. So let's look at the MyLink. The MyLink here. If you go to the home screen, they were showing me this a little bit yesterday when I got the car. So this is audio, phone, projection. I guess you can hook up your phone to um, to the radio and it'll project your map on there. I've already downloaded the Weather Channel app for this. You just go to apps. It gives you a lot of stuff. You can download the 4G light. And there's the Wi-Fi. So these are all the apps that there's on here. I am going to download Pandora just because the one bad thing about this car is there's no CD player, which I haven't used the Bluetooth yet. I'm probably going to have to figure out how to use it. But anyways, these are all the apps. Go home. This is a cool one. Now, I thought this Marketplace app was where you download your apps at first. Well, I was playing around with this a little bit last night, but it is actually one of those things where you can order food and have it waiting for you when you get there. So you can actually order food from the car. So shop. And again, I thought this was the... Um, I thought this was the app store, but this is actually an actual store. So here's the order food. Yeah, you can order food to go. Wish they had Mickey D's in here, Chick-fil-A. Fuel up. Some fuel. Um, dining offers. Oh, there is Mickey D's. Cool. <laughs> Let's see what they got for Mickey D's. Okay, so that's just... Order food, store pickup. Order office depot there. I'm sure more and more of these will come online. So let's go back to home. Some more apps. I do want to play around with some of these settings that I'd seen other people. So time and date, it's up to par language. Valet mode, I don't use the valet, but I guess you can enter a code to walk out your car. Um, like I said, I don't use the valet. Radio, I'm going to play around with that here in a bit. Vehicle. Difference, so lighting. Set your lighting. I've got the, um, the locator lights on just so I can find it. When the parking lot at work, exit lighting. So 
So that's actually, you know, how long the um, lease stay on. Yeah, I don't know what the dimming lights are. The, I don't know what they're, the interior lights, something like that. So we'll go back. Remote start. So this one's kind of cool. So I guess from what I gather, you can set your doors to unlock whenever you are within three feet of the car so you don't have to worry about taking the key out of your pocket. And this, I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. This is passive door locks. So I guess if you get a certain distance from the car, it'll automatically lock itself, which is a good thing to have because sometimes I do forget to lock my car. As evident at my wedding when people filled my Camaro with a ton of balloons. I spent like 30 minutes taking balloons out of my car. And even two weeks later, I was still taking balloons out. So, I'm definitely going to turn that on. Remote left in vehicle. There's that. So, we'll go back up here. Um, we'll go back to vehicle here. So, climate, air, air, power locks. Let's go up here, see what else we got. Um, time and date, language, radio, Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay, voice display. What's this? Display is probably, yeah, the touch screen. I'm not even showing this, so. Really kind of cool, just see what... They, this is the basic MyLink, this isn't the one with the navigation. The one with the navigation was an upgrade for $835. I tried to get it, but they um they didn't have any cars that had it on there, so... That's fine, I can, I can live with it. I still got a really cool car. Even though the wife isn't happy about it. I'm sure she'll understand once she um, actually gets in here and takes a ride, she'll start to like it. So, rear camera. It's for the rear view camera. And that's pretty much it for the MyLink, for the vehicle settings. Now, I did see one somewhere that had a um, parental reminder about back seat. If you need a reminder that your kid's in the car, you probably shouldn't be driving. But, yeah, that's pretty much the Pandora. I'm going to definitely get Pandora since there's no CD player, so I can just download music or whatever. I'm going to have to sit around and play around with the Bluetooth because I've never used it. I've always just put in a CD. But that is basically the MyLink in the 2018 Chevy Impala LT. Again, this one's got 26,612 miles on it. When I picked it up yesterday, it had 25, no, 26,512. So I put roughly 100 miles on it. They actually let me take it home yesterday afternoon so Solomon could take a nap. Then I had to bring it back, finish up some paperwork. They gave me the car. I just got to go in Friday and finish up the financing paperwork, but... This will be the new ride, but definitely glad to be back in a Chevrolet. I miss my Chevys. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the car video. And if you have any questions, just leave me a comment down below. Thanks.